peppers and the tomatillos are still grilling, but they should be done pretty soon. This is gonna make some yummy salsa. Hi, happy summer. So today we're making salsa verde, which is a big party hit. Um, yesterday I did a recipe with grilled peaches, some cheese, some basil, and a coconut reduction. Um, and so since we were grilling, I thought I would grill um, some stuff to make salsa verde with at the same time. So these are from that. Um, I grilled up some tomatillos here. And basically I just kind of removed the skins after I took them off the grill and I just quartered them and put some salt in here and just like let it sit a little bit. Um, then you can see I kind of took, I didn't, wasn't really anal about removing the seeds from the peppers because we want it to be kind of spicy. And then I juiced um, a lemon and a lime here and we have a little bit of onion. So this is super easy. Basically, I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in the Vitamix, some tomatillo action, some pepper action. We've got poblanos and jalapenos here. There's pretty much nothing better than a grilled poblano pepper um, in general. Um, I'm gonna throw some onions in here. This is a little bit of yellow onion. And then I have some, the juice of one lime and one lemon here, which I'm gonna kinda add to taste as I'm blending. Also, I'm gonna show you my little trick for keeping cilantro fresh in the fridge. So basically, I put my little cilantro in some water Cut the tips off, put it in a little water, and then cover it with one of these little baggies. This has been in my fridge for like, I wanna say 10 days, but it looks pretty fresh still. So this is a good way, um, you know, to keep your cilantro going, cause it's like, you know, one bunch of cilantro can be like a couple bucks. It adds up quick, you know? So um, yeah, just a little tip for you. Just gonna throw some cilantro in here, and then we're gonna, Blend it up and see what we got. We'll just adjust um, as we go. Usually I try to be conservative with the, um, the lemon and the lime juice and sort of add that at the end because um, that can really make your salsa too tart. And there's no going back from it, but you can always add more. So we're just gonna throw this on the blender and blend it up. It's kind of spicy. It's not as mild as a lot of salsa verdes, but I'm not really into mild salsas personally. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna add the rest of the cilantro in here and maybe a titch more lemon and a titch more salt. I don't know if we even need more salt. I had already added salt to the uh, tomatillos, so yeah, I think this is gonna be really good. So yeah. Do that, a little bit more citrus, maybe just a little titch of salt. And I think we'll be good to go. I think we have a winner. I live in Minnesota now, but I grew up in Texas where people know where sal what salsa is supposed to taste like. 